You're listening to Stream, 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 the podcast that tells you what streaming on platform for subscription, rent, or buy. I'm going to talk about movies coming out the week of March the 19th. The first one we'll talk about came out on March the 16th called SAS Red Notice. And uh, on my search, sometimes I only got Red Notice. But it had a 67% on tomato meter, 88% audience score. Tom Buckingham, a special forces operator, is taking Dr. Sophie Hart from London to Paris to propose. When their train is deep inside the Channel Tunnel, Grace Lewis and her team of heavily armed war criminals seize the train and holds hundreds of passengers hostage. Grace threatens to expose the British government's darkest secrets and blow up the Channel Tunnel if her ransom demands are not met. Unarmed and cut off from his counter-terror team, Tom is the only hope that Sophie and the other passengers have to make it out alive. Now this is based on a best-selling novel by former SAS operator Andy McNabb. SAS Red Notice is a provocative and authentic portrayal of an emergency response operation and the singular mindset Tom needs to survive. It's rated R for language throughout, strong, bloody violence. It's an action movie directed by Magnus Martins, produced by Lawrence Malkin, Andy McNabb, Joe Simpson, and Alan Niblo, written by Lawrence Malkin. It's two hours and three minutes long by Periwinkle Pictures, Creativity Capital, Silver Reel, Vertigo Films, Altitude Films, The Electric Shadow Company, Hero Squared, Ingenious Media and Parabolic Pictures. Some of the cast and crew, Owen Yeoman as Oliver Lewis, Tom Hopper as uh, Declan Smith, Andy Serkis as George Clements, Hannah John Kamen as Dr. Sophie Hart, Sam Higgin as Tom Beckingham, and Ruby Rose as Grace Lewis. Alright, and this one you can find for rent or buy on Apple iTunes, Amazon Video, Google Play, YouTube, Fandango Now, Voodoo, Microsoft Store, Redbox, and DirecTV. This next one comes out March 17th. Operation Varsity Blues, The College Admissions Scandal. 89% on tomato meter, 77% audience score. Reenactments tell the story of the mastermind behind a scam to get children from wealthy families into the top American universities. It's rated R. It's a documentary directed by Chris Smith. It's one hour and 40 minutes long. And Matthew Modine is in it. I guess he's a guest host. I don't know. But this one is streaming on Netflix. All right. This one is coming out on March the 18th. Zack Snyder's Justice League. 72% on tomato meter and a 95% audience score. I'm actually going to watch this too. All right. In Zack Snyder's Justice League, determined to ensure... Superman's ultimate sacrifice was not in vain. Bruce Wayne aligns forces with Diana Prince with plans to recruit a team of metahumans to protect the world from an approaching threat of catastrophic proportions. The task proves more difficult than Bruce imagines as each of the recruits must face the demons of their own past to transcend that which has held them back, allowing them to come together, finally forming an unprecedented league of heroes now United, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, and The Flash may be too late to save the planet from Steppenwolf, Nissan, and Darkseid, and their dreadful intentions. It's rated R for violence and some language. It is a fantasy adventure action film directed by Zack Snyder. 
Produced by Deborah Snyder and Charles Roven. Written by Chris Terrio. It's four hours and two minutes long by Warner Brothers Pictures and HBO Max. Some of the cast and crew, Ray Fisher as Cyborg or Victor Stone, Ezra Miller as The Flash or Barry Allen, Jason Momoa as Aquaman or Arthur Curry, Henry Cavill as Superman or Clark Kent, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman or Diana Prince, and Ben Affleck as Batman or Bruce Wayne. This one is streaming on HBO Max. All right, the rest of these came out on, or coming out March 19th. Last Call, 0% on Tomato Meter, but it had an 81% audience score. A local success story, Mick returns to his old neighborhood for a family emergency and is forced to stay when presented with a huge re real estate opportunity. Now he must decide between taking the money or saving the one thing that links him to his past and his one true love, the family bar. It's rated R for crude sexual content, some drug use, and pervasive language. It's a comedy directed by Paolo Piliani, produced by DJ Dodd, Rob Simmons, Ante Novokovic, Paoli Pilati, and written by Paolo Pilati and Greg Lingo. It's also in theaters, limited, and uh, it's one hour and 42 minutes long by Novokovic Bros, Future Proof Films, Goody Goody Productions, and J.A.R.S. Productions. Some of the cast and crew, Jack McGee as Lawrence, Jamie Kennedy as Whitey, Zach McGowan as Dougal, Bruce Dern as Coach Finnegan, Tar Taryn Manning as Ally, and Jeremy Pivel as Mick. And this one is for Brent on Apple iTunes. Amazon Video, Google Play, YouTube, Voodoo, and DirecTV. Phobias, 62% on Tomato Meter, 71% audience score. Suffering from extreme phobia, five dangerous patients get put to the ultimate test under the supervision of a crazed doctor and his quest to weaponize fear. It's rated R for violence, language throughout, some sexual references, some disturbing material. It is a horror, mystery, and thriller. Directed by Camilla Bell, Marina Lee Go, Chris Von Hoffman, Joe Seal, Jess Varley. Written by Camilla Bell, Chris Von Hoffman, Joe Seal, Jess Varley, and Marit Lee Go. It is also in theaters limited. It is one hour and 25 minutes long by Defiant Studios and Kodiak Pictures. Some of the cast and crew, Ross Partridge as Dr. Wright, Macy Gray as Renee, Lauren Miller Rogan as Emma, Hannah May Lee as Sammy, Martina Garcia as Alma, and Leonardo Nam as Johnny. And this one is for rent or buy on Apple iTunes, Amazon Video, Google Play, YouTube, Fandango Now, Voodoo, Microsoft Store, Redbox, and DirecTV. Happily, 71% on Tomato Meter, 29% on Audience Score. After 14 years of marriage, Tom and Janet still can't keep their hands off each other. When they discover their friends are resentful of their constant public displays of affection, the couple start to question the loyalty of everyone around them. Then, a visit from a mysterious stranger thrusts them into an existential crisis, leading to a dead body, a lot of questions, and a very tense vacation. It is rated R for brief violence, sexual content, and language throughout. It is a comedy romance. It is directed by Ben David Grabinski, produced by Jack Black. Spencer Berman, Ross Kahn, and Nancy Lou Party. Written by Ben David Grabinski. It's also in theaters. 
Limited. Runtime is 1 hour and 36 minutes long by Indie Entertainment, Common Wall Media, and Electric Dynamite. Some of the cast and crew, Natalie Zia as Karen, Brecken Meyer as Richard, Paul Shear as Val, Stephen Root as Goodman, Carrie Bish as Janet, and Joel Miguel as Tom. And this one is for Brent on Alamo, or you can rent or buy it on Apple iTunes, Amazon Video, Google Play, YouTube, Fending Aloud, Voodoo, Microsoft Store, Redbox, and DirecTV. Enforcement. 75% on the tomato meter, 67% audience score. Jids and Mike, two police officers on routine patrol, find themselves strapped to a maze of billings by a mob of vengeful rioters. It is direct by, oh, it's a crime, drama, mystery, and thriller. Directed by Anders Olm, Frederick Louis Villid, uh, produced by Signet Lee Jensen and Morton Kaufman, written by Anders Olm, uh, Frederick Louis Havid. It's one hour and 48 minutes long by Toolbox Films. Some of the cast and crew, Arian Kashef as Osman, Oslam Saglanmak as Abia, Issa Kitab as Isa, Tarek Zayat as Amos al Shami, Simon Sears as Jens Hayer, and Jacob Lawman as Mike Anderson. And this one is for rent only on Apple iTunes, Amazon Video, Google Play, YouTube, Fending Allow, Voodoo, Microsoft Store, Redbox, and DirecTV. Alright, the last one, Food Club. 77% on tomato meter, no audience score. Marie recently found herself abandoned on Christmas Eve by her husband has been falling apart ever since. Berlin has been the eternal bachelorette who outwardly denies her age and lives the sweet life. All but seems perfect until we find out about her complicated relationship with her daughter. Vanja is still living in the past, has never been able to move on from her late husband. The three lifelong girlfriends decide to travel to Italy together to attend a cooking course in Pagulia, and there they find each find the opportunity to redefine themselves and acknowledge that the most important thing in life is their friendship and it's never too late to live a more meaningful life. It's a comedy drama directed by Barbara Topsy and Rothenberg produced by Eva Jewel Heimerick and Nina Lang written by Anna Marie Ellison Thinghus is also in Theaters Limited. It is one hour and 40 minutes long by Level K Apulia Film Fund, Danish Film Institute, Nepenthe Films, Apps, Lume Film, SF Studios, and Italian Tax Credit. Some of the cast and crew, Rasmus Botoft as Morton, Mia Layton as Metz, Charles Leiby as Jacob, Kristen Lefelt as Venja, Stina Ekblad as Berling, and Kirsten Ellison as Marie. You can rent it from DirecTV, or you can rent or buy it from Apple iTunes, Amazon Video, Fandango Now, and Voodoo, or you can also buy it on Google Play and YouTube. Alright, that's it for the week of March the 19th. Have fun watching the movies. This show is brought to you by Heartland Production Entertainment. If you'd like to help to make the show better, go to patreon.com slash heartlandpae.